and uh, thank you for everyone to joining today. Um, before we start today's session, I just wanted to introduce myself. Um, so I'm Ashley Fard and I'm the Head of Customer Success and Operations here at Workpro. Um, and today I'll be taking you through the New Zealand Ministry of Justice Check Service. Um, also, before we get started, I will just remind you that as of the 1st of May, the Ministry introduced their new online portal um, and are no longer accepting any paper applications. Um, what these changes also mean are that there's an option for candidates to obtain their own result directly through the Ministry's online portal as well. So today's session will be taking you through Workflow's new MOJ service in response to these changes. Uh, we're going to take roughly 15 to 20 minutes of your time today and at the end of the presentation there will be an opportunity for any questions at the end. Um, so let's get started. A quick overview of today's webinar. Um, so we're going to cover the various configuration options we have in the Workflow platform. I'll then take you through how to administer the New Zealand Ministry of Justice checks using Workflow. Um, also be a little sneak peek for what's coming soon to the Ministry of Justice service and also a range of other checks that you might like to package with the Ministry of Justice checks. Um, one last thing before we get stuck into it, uh, just a quick overview of our um, development roadmap. So coming up very soon for release is our SMS service. So we currently have that available to candidates to reset their username and passwords. Um, going forward, there will be an option for our clients to send requests to candidates using the SMS function. This will be in addition to email. Um, so candidates will have the option to receive requests and request minders by SMS and email. Also coming soon is WorkPro Managed Probity Checks, um, whereby you can elect for WorkPro to liaise directly with the candidate for their application. Um, so that includes the vetting process, ensuring we have all the required documents, and then also liaising directly with the candidate for any requests for further information our partner agencies might require. Also coming soon are our pre-employment medicals and drug and alcohol testing. This is currently in project and uh, we're hoping to implement this to for release by end of September. Okay, um, so we understand each of our clients have different needs and requirements uh, that are unique to their business and the way that they operate. So with the Ministry of Justice's recent changes, we really took this as an opportunity to assess the different processing methods that our clients might find useful and we really wanted to provide that flexibility within Workpro to help simplify and streamline your processes. I see a lot of the people that registered here today are already using this service, uh, so I hope this session provides you with some further information on some other options that may be available. Uh, we've also got some new faces in here today, so uh, I'm hoping you find uh, what we cover in today's session uh, very helpful as well. If you're not already using this service and are interested in any of these options, please do reach out to your account manager and they'd be happy to assist. So I will be providing you with a demonstration on each of these available options um, from both a work for administrator's perspective and a candidate perspective. Uh, before we do that though, I'll just provide a brief overview of what these options are. So option one is our certificate sharing option. As I mentioned before, candidates can go direct to the Ministry of Justice and obtain a copy of their own certificate. Uh, so this option provides uh, the facility whereby a candidate can upload an, an existing MOJ certificate into the Workflow platform. The configuration options we have around this are that you get to determine the currency of this certificate and it's entirely configur configurable depending on your business needs. You also have the ability to accept or reject any document that the candidate uploads, so you have full control over this process. Under this option, if the candidate does not have a check to upload already, uh, Workflow Platform provides a direct link to the Ministry of Justice's online portal for the candidate to obtain their check. Um, there is another way we can get a new check for a candidate, but I'll cover that in our next option. Uh, so some of the pros of uh, the certificate sharing option are that you can send 
all of your candidate requests through the workflow as per normal. Uh, you'll be able to monitor the status of the request, as in uh, request sent when the candidate has logged in to action that request. You'll be notified when they do uh, share a certificate with you, so you can accept or reject it. Um, and you can also see if, if they're yet to action that request. Um, the cons of this option are that the Ministry has confirmed that there is actually no way to verify the authenticity of any certificates or results. So we're really uh, reliant on um, the candidate's honesty here. And um, there's also, we're relying on the candidate to log back in and upload the result rather than work for returning the result in the platform for you. So the other option we had available, option two, is to process new Ministry of Justice checks through the WorkPro platform. Uh, so under this option, you would be using the WorkPro platform to obtain their check um, using our old online processing methods. So the candidate would upload their documentation. Um, we're sending reminders if the check is, uh, we're sending reminders to the candidate for action. Um, this can be an add-on for our certificate sharing options, so you may like to send the candidate the request, have them upload an existing certificate if available, and due to the cons I highlighted earlier um, around authenticity of results and relying on the candidate to upload their result, you can actually push them out to complete a new application using uh, WorkPro's method. We will vet the application for you and we'll send that off direct to the Ministry. Um, so the pros of this as well, sending and monitoring all the candidate requests exactly like you're used to. There'll be the status updates, uh, there'll be reminders sent to the candidate for action, and uh, you'll also be notified if there's any additional information required to process the check. Um, the result will be uploaded and stored securely in the platform against the candidate profile as soon as this is available for you. So our third option is just an add-on of what I've just discussed, where a new MOJ check would be processed via the WorkPro platform. Um, so we actually also provide the option for our clients to let us manage the checks on your behalf. Uh, there's no additional charge for this service. What this means is that WorkPro will liaise directly with the candidate on your behalf for any additional information required. So rather than you being notified when the ministry requires um, more information to process a check and you having to go back to the candidate, get that information from the candidate provider to work for, we're happy to take care of that for you. Um, so obviously less administration for you. Uh, as soon as the candidate completes their application, that application will come directly to the work for background check team who vets that application. Any amendments are sent directly to the candidate to resolve. <clears throat> and you will still have the full visibility of these updates across your WorkPro dashboard. So I'll just take you through the platform now and um, show you the administrative and candidate experience. So I'm just going to log in as a client. Okay. Uh, so this is the WorkPro dashboard, um, which if you're already using WorkPro, you'd be quite familiar with. Um, so to send in your request to your candidate, we will be using the new request button. As with all of the WorkPro requests, you have multiple methods to send a request. You can send one to an existing candidate in your platform via their SIM and surname. You can send a request to a new candidate, or you can send a bulk request using a CSV upload. So today I'm just going to send a request to a new candidate. So fill out the candidate details here. New Ministry of Justice. So depending on which of the option or options you have selected uh, within WorkPro to process Ministry of Justice checks, um, you have the option to decide here. Uh, if you have the certificate sharing turned on, uh, you will see this message advising if the candidate does not have a check to upload, do you want to pay for a check? So what this means is candidate doesn't have their check, 
if you want to pay for a check, you will take them through the work pro platform where they complete it online within work pro we're vetting that application if you don't want to pay for the new check that's when the candidate will be pushed out directly to the ministry of justice website to complete their application with the ministry and return and upload that result to work pro for you to view so i'm just going to say yes we would like to pay for a new check and i'll send that request as you can see here, we have um, available, this is the tracking I'm talking about. You can see when the request was sent um, and whether or not the candidate has logged in to act in that request. On the flip side, I'm just going to log in as the candidate now and show you the candidate experience. Sorry for my internet to load, sorry, working from home in Melbourne at the moment here. There we go. So just enter my token that I've received as the candidate. Continue and I can see that I have one background check here to complete. So if you do have the certificate sharing option turned on, uh, the candidate will see the option to share an existing certificate. Uh, so I will select that option to show you what that looks like. Share existing. So in here we just have some instructional text for the candidate and we have based on your configuration options, the candidate is presented with the date range um, to ensure validity of the certificate they are uploading. So again, that's completely configurable by you. Um, it can be two months, six months, 12 months, whatever you would like it to be. Uh, we can configure that option for you. If the candidate has a certificate they would like to upload, um, they're prompted to enter a release date. So if, uh, if you've stipulated you want it to be within the last 24 months, um, by say 10th of the 6th, 2017, it's not going to let me upload anything, it's blocking that upload. Mm -hmm. um, so in this instance, all, all we'll be doing is uploading a document, but I want to really take you through the uh, new application through WorkPro. Mm -hmm. So if you had opted not to pay for a new check for the candidate, at this point when the candidate says no, they would need to submit a new application and continue, that's when they would be pushed out to the Ministry of Justice website. Um, because I've opted to pay for a new check, it's going to take us through the background check process. So just fill in my candidate name, adding any names I've previously been known by, uh, birth details. And just some contact details. Um, the ministry requires us to collect 10 years worth of address history, so we'll just prompt the candidate to provide that information now. This information. Um, so the identity, uh, the candidate is then prompted to upload their identity documents here. Um, the documents must contain their signature. Um, the ministry does accept driver's license, firearms, or a passport that have expired within the last two years. Um, so we're looking to include some instructional text around that. Um, so I will just upload a dummy document for the purposes of this check. We also ask candidates to upload a linkage of identity photo. Um, so that is to verify that the person completing this application is who they say they are. So basically, if we have a candidate uploading their New Zealand driver's license, we also want to link them to that identity document 
by having the candidate upload a photo of them holding that driver's license. So I'm just going to upload another dummy document here. And submit next. Candidate then agrees to the terms and conditions and they can opt in um, as to whether or not they would like to receive a copy of the result when available. It's not mandatory, it's up to the candidate whether or not they would like to obtain a copy of that. Now we'll just add a submission here for submission. Great. So once the candidate has submitted their new background check, um, depending on which option you have, that application is either going to go to yourself to view the documents um, and liaise with the candidate to ensure the application is correct, or alternatively, if you opt for the work for a managed workflow, it's at this point that the background check would bypass you, come directly to workflow to start processing and cutting out some of that administration time for you. I'm just going to log in again as a client to show you both the um, accepting or rejecting of an existing MOJ certificate that's been uploaded by a candidate. And also the um, review screen as well. Okay. Uh, so we have two different options on uh, the dashboard here. So I've previously uploaded an example to show you what the certificate would look like. And you can see the difference in the check statuses. So if a candidate has uploaded an existing certificate for you to accept or reject, the status will be sitting as an MOJ check ready to acknowledge. Um, so you can also use your dashboard filters to filter by um, checks that are ready to acknowledge checks that are ready for your review and uh, there's a range of other filters in there to help you um, sort through the data that's displayed on your dashboard. Because this is a demo site, we've only got a couple of things sitting in here, so it's nice and easy. Um, so this MOJ check sitting here ready to acknowledge. Let's have a look at that. Um, so as a workflow administrator, you're just reminded of the configuration options that you have set in the platform. Um, so it just guides you advising what the certificate should have on it. So it should have the official Ministry of Justice logo, and then the date must be within X amount of months, whatever you have configured there. So you have the option to view the shared certificate. In this instance, I have uploaded a work pro logo as the candidate. So I would be inclined to reject that. Um, and I can provide a reason to the candidate. So I can't see the image, the certificate did not display the Ministry of Justice logo, or you've somehow managed to sneak it through with um, a check that's not within the required time frame. There's also a free text field here if you need to add any additional information. And that will send an email to the candidate. Alternatively, if you're happy with the document, you can accept that. And then you're provided um, just with a little time and date stamp as to who, uh, which administrator accepted it and when that was accepted. And that's updated the status on your dashboard there for you. So the other method um, where we just went through, we completed a new Ministry of Justice application through the work for a platform uploading our documents. That's when the checks will sit on your dashboard status as please review. So I'm sure a lot of you are very familiar with this process. Um, at the moment, um, you do just get a little pop-up screen. Um, all Ministry of Justice checks now have the four business day turnaround time. There was previously the three tiers. Um, I believe it was four, 11 and 16 days. With the transition to this new online portal, they all have the single turnaround time. Again, configurable, if you do not want to have to do this process uh, every time a candidate completes their application, speak to your account manager and we can configure it so that these checks will come directly to work for processing. It's at this stage, we will just be viewing the information to make sure it's correct, everything's signed, um, and you would uh, submit or reject the documents depending on your review. 
Okay, um, so I'm just going to swap back to the PowerPoint presentation now just to show you a couple of small changes coming to the Ministry of Justice check. So we've had the Ministry of Justice checks in place for a little over a month now since the Ministry transitioned online and in doing so we've identified a couple of areas for improvement uh, based on client feedback and based on our interactions with the checks as well. Um, so we're committed to continually improving the delivery of our services. So uh, if you do have any feedback, please feel free to provide it in this session or directly to your account managers, and we will take that on board. So one of the improvements um, coming is um, the ministry are quite explicit in collecting valid, valid identity documents. As I mentioned earlier, they must be current or have not expired um, will have expired in the last two years. Um, a lot of New Zealand driver's licenses coming through the platform actually display the driver's license expiry date on the back. So if a candidate is opting to upload their New Zealand driver's license, we're just simply asking them if the expiry date is on the front of their license. If it is, that's fine, they're prompted to upload. If it is not on the front of their license, the candidate is then prompted to upload both front and the back of their driver's license. So this is actually being deployed tonight um, and we just think this is part of ensuring our compliance with the Ministry's requirement, um, making sure that all of the documentation we're collecting is correct and that there's a nice easy interface to guide the candidates through this process for you. So um, there's clear instructional text and this should help minimise any back and forth uh, with candidates and speed up the process in time. So in those rare instances when a candidate cannot meet the identity requirements, um, also coming soon is the option on the screen you see here whereby we facilitate a candidate to use uh, the Ministry's other options of a statutory declaration form or a proof of identity form as part of their application. So it would be a similar, similar principle here where we would ask, um, are you able to meet the identity requirements listed above? Uh, yes, no. If not, we would present them with a copy of the statutory declaration form or the proof of identity form to help them uh, complete the process entirely online when it's being done through the work platform. <clears throat> uh, so our Ministry of Justice checks uh, really do help with your compliance and onboarding of new candidates. We do have a range of complementary checks uh, that you can use as part of your risk mitigation when onboarding new candidates. Um, so any of these checks can be added to the request from the new request screen manually, or you can figure any of these into your existing packages. Um, so all of these checks are available on online now. We have the credit check, bankruptcy check, global sanctions check, employment history, qualification, and a reference checking service. Um, so if you have any questions about any of these, uh, please do speak to your account manager. Um, so as you're all aware, uh, it's our Work Pro webinar series week. Um, this webinar will be recorded for you to watch at any time. Um, there's also a range of other webinars that have taken place this week um, listed on the screen here. I'll provide you a link to the webinars page just in the chat box here in case you were interested in viewing any of those recordings from previous sessions. And today's session will also be available in there uh, once we finish up. So I've just put that in the chat for you now. Um, so I just wanted to thank you so much for your time. Um, I hope you found this session useful. Um, and um, I was wondering if anyone had any any questions today. Okay, beautiful. Um, well, I trust you found this session useful. I really hope um, this new service is going to help you streamline your MOJ processes going forward. Um, feel free to reach out to our customer support team um, on the info email address there or alternatively get in touch with your account manager who will be happy to um, assist, give you access to any of the options we've covered in today's session. So I'll just hang around for the next five minutes until the um, end schedule time of this session. So um, don't be shy, jump on the microphone or pop in the chat if you have any questions. Thank you.